Been holding on to this one for a long time. Belgisk Mort Sturkel. That from Hand Bridgerite. And if you are Belgian, I apologise. But Jason bought this for me a couple of years ago. Batch 996. 500 mil. Best before June 2021. 10% alcohol. Can't really read what it says. But I just actually had to take throughout my last review. I was getting acetone on the in the mouth. But as I drank a little bit more, I realised that it wasn't quite that. It was really bizarre. It was very sharp. It wasn't like acetone. It wasn't acetone, but it was similar. It was bizarre. Anyway, clear brown colour. And then those chocolate, malt, caramel, hints of honey. It's probably got a little bit of age on it. Mm. I've probably had about eight sips of this now. That's the danger of doing your um, your reviews as the very first your very first opinion of a beer because it often changes. So originally I got this sort of like acetone note in there, um, but it wasn't quite that, and now I'm not getting it. So I'm getting sweet chocolate, honey, uh, caramel, toastiness. It's kind of just malt. There's a little bit of yeast character in there. There is a slight sharpness in there that I still don't know what it is. Alcohol's well hidden, if I can give it a really big thumbs up. Um, it's one of those beers, I'm not really sure yet if I like it. It's, it's just this dark, malty bomb, 10% with a little bit of honey in there. Probably from age. It's not the best beer I've had, but it's certainly not as bad as I thought it was originally. That's why I had to scrap that previous review. From Norway, I think the more I drink it, the more I like it, but it's still not, it's not world changing. 